Is it comfortable? I don't know what it is with these dogs and wanting to lay on this little corner part of the couch. <laughs> you comfy? Say good, wonderful, beautiful morning, buddy. Memphis is napping on the couch. Miss Oakley is napping in her kennel. You look so cute. And Shelby is trying to hide because she knows we have to go to the vet. You'd think she'd be excited though because she gets her stitches out today. So Shelby and I are on our way to the vet to go get her stitches out. And afterwards, I might take her to Home Depot. Our Home Depot actually allows any dogs inside the store, which is kind of nice because if you have like younger dogs, you can take them in there and like desensitize them to people and noises and things like that. The, the manager of our Home Depot is really, really nice. Um, but we have to go get a door handle and a filter for the humidifier. And let's see if I can remember those things after leaving the vet. But I think I might just take Shelby with me on the way home and run into Home Depot. Which would make Memphis mad, because that's one of her favorite places to walk around. But you can stay here and nap. And I'm going to take your sister to go get her stitches out. Hey, Shelby. Shelby. You want to go get your stitches out? <laughs> She's like, no. Shelby, you got to get up. We got to go get your stitches out, okay? She's like, but guys, I'm so snuggled right now. <laughs> Come on, let's go get your stitches out. You want to leave him in for longer? Come on. Let's go. Come on, Shelby. She's like, forget it. I'm staying here all day. <laughs> this is what I deal with anytime I try to take one dog. She's going. She's not. You have to stay here. You have to stay here. She's like, but I know something's happening. So Shelby's going to get her stitches out. They're looking really good today, so we're hoping they just say yes and take them out. I know, we're going. No, you're not going though, you're staying here. Squirmy, wormy. Well, we made it to Home Depot and I talked to so, so many people. I didn't film anything and we made it back from the vet and guess what? Shelby's getting no more stitches. The vet said she could tell that, uh, hi Shelby. She'd been licking this one a little bit too much, but that it was healing up good. No results yet, they haven't come in yet, but Shelby has no more stitches. So the day we are filming this is actually game night. As you guys know, we don't film a lot at game night, mostly because we have some friends that aren't big fans of being on camera. We have some friends that really don't, it's just not their thing. And the other thing is, is we kind of just like to relax on Saturday night and we just hang out and play and don't really pick up the camera and just, I don't know, pretend like we're normal people. <laughs> but we're currently waiting for everybody to come over. I don't believe Eric's coming today. We'll see. Maybe I'll film a little bit down there. I know you guys really wanted to see the Unstable Unicorn game. That's a pretty cool game, and I definitely want to play that again tonight. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm making. I didn't film it for the cooking channel, but I probably could have. But it was just me pretty much making it. I made um, homemade chili. This is actually the way that my family has made it ever since I was a kid. It's super easy, super simple, super cheap. So if you guys want to know how we make our homemade chili... Uh, it's not very spicy. I made this a little bit more spicy than normal, but normally it's not very spicy and there's not a lot that goes into it. So you can doctor it up any way you want, but uh, let me know in the comments below if this would be something you'd like to see us make on the cooking channel. Super simple, easy recipes. I'm sure you guys will say yes. I don't even know why I'm asking. Oh, in the backyard ice update situation. It's pretty treacherous out there. We haven't put sand down yet because there is still a little bit of snow and it did snow last night. So there's only a couple bad spots. We're going to throw some sand down today, but... It's supposed to rain in two days, so this is gonna get real messy. Now, of course I know everybody that watches isn't from an area where you guys get a lot of snow and cold and ice, so a lot of this probably doesn't necessarily make sense to you if you've never lived in an area like this. The weather where we live matters. Um, it's not like we get up every day and it's like, oh, it's sunny, oh, it's sunny, or oh, I can just go out to my car because it's air conditioned. We really have to pay attention because of travel. When, when snow happens, when ice happens, ice storms can happen, the roads can get nasty in a moment's notice. So if you guys ever wonder why we talk about the weather probably more often than a lot of other creators is it's because it's something that's always on our mind. If Jamie and I wanna take off tomorrow and go on a trip, we have to know, is the weather here gonna be good? Is the weather where we're going going to be good? If we manage to get stuck up there, is the next day gonna be good coming back? Because yeah, ice storms are not fun. You guys saw when I took Shelby to the cancer center in Novi, I got stuck in an ice storm coming back. I had planned to leave earlier in that day, but on the way back, I did get stuck in an ice storm, and that was not fun. So, speaking of traveling, 
supposed to be decent tomorrow. We might take the dogs on a road trip tomorrow. It's kind of the plan. Um, I'm gonna check and make sure and make sure that the bridge and everything up there looks nice, but we might, we might just, because Shelby's got her stitches out and we haven't gone anywhere in a while with them and we just need to get away and have a fun day, we might go on a little road trip tomorrow. Especially since Charles and Thor were supposed to come up this weekend. If you guys don't watch uh, Charles and Thor, their YouTube channel is Thor Unleashed. Thor pulled a muscle in his lower back area. They were supposed to come up this weekend and play since Shelby got her stitches out, but then Thor went and injured himself. <laughs> so they're not coming up this weekend, but maybe in a couple weeks when he gets better, they'll come up and visit. Well, I didn't film anything for game night. Actually, today's vlog's probably kind of short. Hey, I was just gonna yell at you for licking that, but I guess I don't really have to, huh? Because you don't have stitches anymore. Yeah, today's game night is pretty much over. Everybody went home. I was gonna pull out the camera because uh, Mike brought Nora and Oscar over, but because it was so icy in the yard, the dogs didn't all get to play. Hi, Jamie. Hi. I was telling everybody game night's over. <laughs> game night's over. It is, it's really late. It's like 1.30 in the morning. <sighs> Which means if we're gonna go for a road trip tomorrow, we should probably go to bed, huh? Shelby's like, wait, what? What did you say? I said go to bed. That's what I said. I said it's time for bed. So we didn't really film game night because we actually didn't play any games. I mean, you guys, you guys played pool, but we talked literally all night. Some friends of ours that don't always come over on game night came over, and we pretty much talked all night. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was fun. We actually we had a lot of fun. Some friends of ours that we've known since high school came over and we just talked. Like we started a game and then we just talked. And Mike came over and he brought Nick and Jalen and he brought uh Oscar and Nora and like I said I was gonna film a little bit, but we didn't even let the dogs all go outside together because you guys saw earlier the yard is so icy. It was just way too dangerous to let them all go outside and play together, so we didn't. Um so yeah. That's pretty much what happened today. Oh, hey Jamie! Hey, yes, guys. How was the chili? Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> 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 so, I'll tell you, I'll fill you guys in on that story because it's funny. I had planned on making like a taco dip tonight. Like I bought all the stuff to make taco dip and then Jamie said he wanted chili. And I'm like, well I already bought all the stuff to make taco dip. But then chili sounded really good to me and I'm like, okay, I'll go to the store and I'll buy the stuff to make chili. So we made chili and it pretty much almost all got eaten. I showed you guys me making the chili. I, did, I didn't show them how to make it, but I showed me making it. So it was, it was pretty good. It was delicious. Even though when you told me to try it, it was still boiling on the stove I, and I burnt my I know. I don't know why you thought that. I didn't think, you know. <laughs> spoon was there. Chili was there. I still try it. I'm I like, sim. Oh. Let's try it. It was I, simmering for two hours. And I, and I saw that it, you know, after I put it in my mouth, I saw that the, <laughs> it was still bubbling, you know, yeah. but I, I scooped a little bit off the top and I blew on it for a second and I put it, the whole thing in my mouth and I went, yep, that's, that's hot. Yeah. That's very hot. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. But after I regained my taste buds, uh, it was good. Yeah, so it was good. I liked it. I think yeah. I'll make it like that from now on. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you made the chili and... Not the not enchilada. the taco. I wasn't gonna make an enchilada dip, but taco dip was different. And that's yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> it was different. Well, uh, do you want to go outside before we go to bed? Do you do you think maybe we're gonna go on a road trip tomorrow? We can. I don't know. If we do, we better go to sleep. Yeah, we haven't sleep. decided yet. We may hold off our road trip for a couple of days, depending on how we feel when we get up in the morning. Shelby stitches look pretty good. They do. They really do. Well. Your stitches look very good. Even the vet said she could tell you was licking a little, but that they look very good. Anyway, that was our Saturday. So, we're going to go to bed. I guess these girls are going to go outside. Yeah. Now that they're all awake and standing up, you want to go outside? Probably. All right, well, I'm going to say good night. All right. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new to this channel and you like us to talk, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again tomorrow. I was trying to remember what day it was and what day. This goes up it's Tuesday. Snowing. But is it really? Okay, hold that thought. It is snowing. Yay! Let's hope it covers up some of the ice in the yard. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. Be nice if it covered the ice. <laughs> you guys gotta go to the potty so we can go to bed. Yeah. Go potty so we can go to bed. Big girl. Yeah. Bye. All right, you guys. 
Good night, potty. Keep your paws crossed and hope that the snow keeps on snowing. <laughs>